Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. How are you doing? It's an honor to return. I hope your Sunday is going quietly. The impact of seeing is the topic for today's presentation. Seeing, as we know, is anything that is impure, unrighteous, immorality, depravity, corruption, iniquity, wickedness. These are sins that can't stand where God is. It seems as if people no longer want to live right, as everyone is actively trying to fit into the puzzle of the current world. The living scene has become the norm. It comes naturally to tell lies, use cuss words and swear words, be hypocritical, envious, wicked, commit adultery, fornication, and everything else. Even in the so-called churches, the subject of sin has become a relic. The attitude is to entice folks to come to church and remain in their sins with no repercussions or any warning about what the word of God says about sin. Let me remind us, according to Romans chapter 3, verse 6, verse 23, for the wages of sin is death. The wages, the impact, the reward, the effect, the outcome, the result of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. So if you're living in sin, I will just put it plainly, the ultimate and most severe consequence of sin is death as the word of God has told us. This is not only physical death, but an everlasting separation from God who cannot dwell anywhere there is sin. Sin also produces fear, guilt, shame, slavery. More sin, wickedness, pains, degeneracy, unhappiness, weakened will, which is spiritual laziness, being subjected to a curse. People become sinful by nature. Sin will steal your joy, peace of mind, destroy your relationships with your family, friends, and neighbors. In many cases, we see these happening. Sin will sentence you to death, eternal separation from God. Who wants all these as the outcome of the life they have lived? I don't. By the grace of God, we live above sin. We, we're not doing this because we are perfect. We do this because God is working in us daily. We die to self daily. We ask the Spirit of God to help us to live in Christ Jesus. My dear, there is impact that sin makes, creates in our lives. One thing to note about sin is that it sows its own seeds and gives birth to more sins. It replicates itself rapidly in diverse ways until it becomes difficult for the slave to break free. Yes, a sinner is a slave, enslaved to sin, because you have been bound by the devil, by that habit which you think you can break away from. Hence, a slave. Sin will replicate itself, will duplicate, will copy itself and multiply as long as you give it a fertile ground to do so. This message is to remind us of how we can be affected by immoral acts and behaviors. Sin causes us to fall outside of God's glorious and pure standards. Take a look at most of the people in the Bible who sinned, and even in the society today. All those who engaged in sin didn't end well. There is no win for a sinner. Only the devil smiles at the end like going to the bank. At the end, because the souls are lost and he gains them for eternity. Dearly beloved, do not become a number in that statistics. You can be separated from sin. We're told in Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27, just as people are destined to die once. And after that, they face judgment. It is appointed to, to die once. You can only die once. With this physical body and you face judgment sin if you're lived in sin 
you will face judgment and that is not going to be pleasant. I thank God that he hasn't left us in the fallen state. He may, He loved us so much. He made the provision to deliver us. Hence, Jesus came to take our place on the cross. Do not let sin have the best of you. Do not let the devil celebrate and have a party on your behalf because you have decided to live in sin. God help us to come out. It says there is eternal life through Jesus Christ. When we believe, when we ask God to come into our lives, we'll be saved from sin and we ask his spirit enough to help us live daily in righteousness. It is possible, not by our own might, but by the spirit of God who lives in us. You can live above sin. We can conquer sin if we surrender fully to God. Ask God every time for the way forward, how to live in righteousness and purity as he wants us to. Sin has no positive outcome, my friend. I thank you for joining me today. Until I come your way again, it's goodbye for now. As you look out to live above sin to the glory of God. Be blessed.